hello beauties welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title of this video this amazon wig came through and busted down baby okay very beautiful very soft perfect it was exactly what i needed and exactly what i wanted more than satisfied so if you're interested in this wig any information about this wig and how i install my wigs just keep watching and we're gonna get right into it so it's time to fix this hair girl um i actually am using a wig that i bought from amazon i lately i've been buying wigs off of amazon instead of going to like unis or any other uh, hair company unless they are going through amazon i ain't touching it right now um i'm just not willing to spend 200 300 dollars 400 dollars for a wig every time i want to change my hair and i'm the type of person if i can change my hair every week i will do that so just because of the fact that i like to change my hair so often i like to go the more affordable route and girl I ain't got no money like that so i'm gonna always try to save my little coin the best way i can when i tell you amazon has not missed for me yet not to say that they won't but so far i've had really good quality wigs very pretty wigs from amazon and they have been lasting so i have a couple of like curly like short curly wigs that i ordered from them just to like dip my feet in to see like what's really going on around here with amazon but i was not disappointed so then from there i started ordering more wigs um so i actually got this wig that i'm going to put on today from amazon girl look at how cute this is so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this out but like i said i change my hair so often it just don't make sense for me to spend 200 300 400 dollars on a wig every time i want a new style so i would prefer to put that money into something else save my coin like i said and um just have more of a variety because of course us working girls i don't know about nobody else but i know about me and my coin when you're spending that much money on a wig you're typically not going to change or have as much of a variety of a variety as you would like so like i said because i will change my hair in a quick second girl i'll change my hair in the middle of the week if i'm just tired of it so i want to have the option to have like a variety a big variety of wigs and braiding hair all types of stuff so i order when i order stuff from amazon I typically order like a couple of wigs at a time and me ordering a couple of wigs will get me to like 200 or 300 dollars versus me spending that on one wig so like come on sis that's like an easy choice so yeah so here's the wig i'm going to see if i can post like the actual um snippet of this wig on amazon and like the link to it I'm not a partner uh, partner program yet, so maybe that's something I need to look into. But as for right now, you're getting this one for free. Look, <laughs> it's 22 inches. It's the highlighted boulage. I don't know how you say that word, but boulage or boulage uh, highlight. Pretty girl. So I'm going to post a picture of what it looks like on Amazon or what it says it's supposed to look like. It, it seems pretty accurate to me. So, yeah, I'm satisfied with what I got. So it came with the wig, of course instruction thank you card wig caps i love that uh oh edge brush i feel like every wig that i get comes with an edge brush brush at least and then also the lay your edges band i don't know what this is called but i call it the lay your edges band so yeah it came with all those things so it comes equipped with everything that I, you need to slay your wig other than any gel or glue if you want to do that some wigs i have you know went ahead and glued it down and some wigs i just put it on and go from there and if they have combs it especially i just don't get i just don't like the irritation sometimes i gotta find a better glue or something that isn't gonna irritate me because if it irritates me i'm more than likely just i'm not going to glue it down so I, I am gonna glue this wig down today but child, we're gonna see how long that lasts. All right. Okay. So yeah, this is just the instruction card. It tells you how to wash it, care for it. So it does say do not comb. It's suggested to not comb. If you're going to detangle, you need to finger comb for curly, which I do for the most part anyway, but I do have a dipping brush specifically for curly hair. So either one of those things I'm gonna use. This is the deep wave. Yeah, I think it's Deep Wave. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the package. And again, this is the 22 inch. And it looks like it's true to list. 
Now I did get a wig. Maybe it was me. Last time I got a wig from them, I could have swore it was supposed to be like 18 inches. And girl, that thing was on my shoulder. There's no way it was 18 inches. Like you're not gonna play me, okay? So that's why I said it could be hit or miss for Amazon wigs. But if you really just thoroughly look and pay attention to what you're doing before you click order, you you're gonna get what you're asking for for the most part. Like I don't know how to explain it, but. I haven't had anything bad to say. Okay. It comes out of the package soft. So, yeah, this is definitely a deep wave. I don't know if this is 22 inches, but... 22 inches. Hmm. I guess. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. I guess. It's long enough. It ain't on my shoulder. So, we could do something with this. We could do something with this. We could do something with this. Okay, it got combs. It has the two combs on the side, one in the back. Then it has the, is this adjustable? Yeah, oh, it is an adjustable band as well. And it also has an adjustable uh, band that's already in the wig too. So you got two adjustable bands and three combs. So you can either adjust this part, these, or comb it, sit, stick it in with the combs, or just glue it down. So that also gives you a lot of variety, and it also really helps with securing this. So I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah, now I'm wondering, should I glue or just glue, do it glue it? Hmm. I'm going to see. So for me, child, for me... I don't, I, I don't glue, well, because, yeah, let me, let me just backtrack. Most of the time I don't glue anyway, or like I said, it don't last, like I might glue for one day just to really lay it, but outside of that, eh, whatever. So what I do is I go ahead and cut the lace off. These are pretty much pre-plucked, but if you needed to pluck it more, yes, you would need to keep this lace on before you cut. Like, don't cut it until you plucked again. But most of the time, the way that it's plucked out of the package is perfectly fine. So, for me at least. So, I'm not going to pluck it. I think it's good. It's going to lay right. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this extra lace off. And then I'm going to get to the applying part. So, let me do that now. That's the first task. It's really soft. Like, it's really soft. I'm already impressed. I'm already impressed. All right, so the lace is gone. So the lace is off, all the way off. I guess this is like three to four inches of lace. That's that's what I would say, three to four inches, yeah. So where the part is, here's my trick. I like to take my concealer. So you see there's a part here. I like to take my concealer because I'm not going to change the part as of now, but I like to take my concealer and put it where the parting space is. So you can do the whole space of the lace with concealer, or you can just do the part line um, with concealer. And that is how I make it look like scalp. So that has always been my trick. I mean, I'm sure you should know that by now, like plenty, plenty of people do this, but if you don't know, that's the way you do it. All right. I will say so far, I'm not experiencing a lot of shedding. Hmm. I think we're good here. I think we're good here. So I'm going to put my hand right here. Let's see if you can, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. They also have the uh, 
lace tint spray i've used that in the past as well but that drying period is longer than concealer so with this concealer it dries pretty quickly but with the tint uh tinting spray i think you have to let it sit for a couple of hours before it's actually fully dry so you wouldn't be able to like basically go ahead and pop it out of the bag and plop it on um this step is crucial like when i tell you if no matter what you want it to look like scalp using your concealer i promise you won't be disappointed like i promise you you won't so i'm just going back in and making sure that i got it really really good i like to do things that's like quick and easy versus Quick and easy and still give me the same results at the end of the day. All right. So I think this is pretty good for now. Like I said, I'm going to take that wig cap that came with the wig. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Child, even the wig caps don't be lasting for me. Like, mm -mm, too much going on. My head itch. <laughs> So, I'm going to do it for the purpose of this video, probably for today, but by tomorrow, I ain't going to be thinking about this wig cap. You hear me? Um, so, of course, if you do want that really bald cap look, that, you know, slave to the gods look, which I'm not going to say that this won't turn out like that, but slave to the gods, bald cap underneath. Of course, you will go ahead and apply both of the caps over your natural hair, and then you will apply glue or spray, whichever one you do first, a couple of layers of that, let it dry with a blow dryer to uh, speed up this process, and then you will apply the wig, and then you will melt the lace um, of the wig. But I'm not doing all that. Don't be talking about my braids, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put on the cap. That's way too far. Alright. And the only reason why I am putting on a cap is just because I really want to um, have a smooth hairline for the most part so i don't know if i'm going to see if i even need to adjust the, the combs yet hmm. actually it fits pretty well i'm putting the comb in the back end and on the sides Oh, shoot, it's actually tight. Okay. I don't know about these combs in the sides. Might be too tight. Oh, that, that hurts. Okay. Okay. So you want to make sure you got the wig in comfortably. All right, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to fix this part. So I went ahead and put the combs in instead of um, gluing it down. I probably won't glue it down. So the combs are in. This already looks fairly good. I love me a curly wig, okay? I love me curly wigs. I just, sometimes I get over. I'm tired of having to get up and flat iron my hair before work. So, yeah, curly wig it is for the next couple of weeks, maybe two weeks. All right. Oh, yes, honey. I still don't know about no 22 inches, but she'll do. She'll do. She'll do. If this is 22 inches, I could have really did a 26. Because, yeah, I don't know, child. I know it says don't comb, but I just want to see how much it sheds. Okay. Hmm, that really ain't bad. I think that was from the cut. I think that was from cutting. It's really soft to even be able to get a comb through it like this. No smell. When I say no smell, when I say no smell, no smell, honey. Now that alone saves the feeling like the inches is not really quite what they said because for this to not have no smell, maybe yes. And it is made in China, so hmm. No smell though. Like none. 
none. It actually smells like it was cleaned before it was sent to me. And that is wild. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a good little comb out. I really like this. I really love this. I really love this. I really, 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 really love this. So I am going to, I'm probably going to just lay right here down. So give me a second to plug in my blow dryer and get that going. One second, I'll be back. All right, so I have my blow dryer. It barely reaches, but it could do that. So we're good. <clears throat> So I got the Got To Be Glue Blast Free Spray. I prefer this because it's less messy and, well, let me not say it's less messy because it really isn't, but I just feel like it has a more lasting hold for me. A um, couple of days at least, and it really doesn't irritate me that much. I think because it's just the spray and not that glue. So again, I'm just gonna spray along. the hairline and on the lace a bit okay and then I'm going to take my blow dryer and literally just center it to until it's tacky right there in that area and then I'm going to lay it down so. Oh, it's already trying to stick. Wow. Come on, come on. Okay. All right. All right. Now that I have that part done, taking the band. I have so many of these. That's crazy. Alright. I'm trying to. Come on, bro. Okay. I'm going to just do this first. Okay, that was a struggle. I don't understand why, but yeah, maybe because the band isn't really stretched out yet. So, of course, if you want the entire hairline laid down, you would put concealer everywhere where there was lace, and then you would put your glue, apply your glue everywhere that you want, um, well, uh, across the entire hairline and then put the band on. So that's the only thing that I did different was that I only put it in the area where I want to make sure that it's secure, which was where the part is. Um, that's typically how I do it anyway. Like I said, that glue and stuff irritates me, my head be itching and all types of stuff. So I don't do all of that. I just put it in the areas where I feel like it's necessary. And then I keep it pushing. My wig don't go nowhere. Um, and then I'm the type of person, too, that I take my wig off at night for the most part anyway. So I ain't really worried about it being secure that much. As long as it don't move throughout the day, we're good. Um, so while that is drying, I'm going to take, so I have silicone mix, the conditioner, the I think it's like the two minute miracle treatment and some warm water in this bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and like refresh the curls and lay down this part.
Okay, you got this side here. Curls were refreshed. And then this side, straight out the pack. It's very pretty. Even just now spraying that water and conditioner on there. Even softer. Like, baby, these these curls is like butter, okay? Do you hear me? Very soft. Very, very soft. All right? Too excited. I've been wanting a wig that had these highlights in here like this, too, especially a curly wig. Um, I almost considered doing my other curly wig that I bought, but it's shorter, like I said, um, like this. And I might do it anyway. Not bad, y'all. I had to take a phone call, but I'm back. All right, so what I was saying was, as you can see, this side... The curls were refreshed with the water and conditioner. And then this side is like how it came straight out the pack. Either one actually would be cute. But I prefer a more uniform curl. Like really just nice and sleek. That's just me. Um, I I haven't done like a bushy curl in a very long time. And I just feel like my face disappears in that. So yeah. Um, but if you wanted to do it straight out of the pack. If you wanted to wear it straight out of the pack. I feel like this is still very cute. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the other side. Wait. I'm going to go ahead and hit the other side. And then we're almost done. These curls are so small. So, so soft. Um, I just, I don't have nothing bad to say. And I feel like this is like one of the better qualities just based off of how soft it is already. Um... I don't know what density this is, but for me, it doesn't have to be super full because then when it's not super full, it actually looks more natural than a really super full curly wig. Now, if you want something that's more full, you probably wouldn't like this wig. Um, not to say that it's skimpy because it's not. It's just it could be fuller. Um, I know girls who have plenty of hair, so for them, a natural look is a really full wig. So just keep those things in mind when you're buying wigs off of Amazon. Um, what I am going to probably start doing is doing comparison, buying wigs from other places, and then comparing, comparing, it, comparing it with wigs from Amazon. Because where there's an expensive brand, there's always a dupe, honey. So yeah, um... I just love to, like I said, save my coin, and this is doing it for me. I love this color. I consider um, doing these highlights on my shorter curly wig, but I think this might, you know, satisfy my craving for this color. Um, and then I also have another wig that has highlights like this or similar to this, or the color may be, the color variant may be slightly different. I cannot wait to layer that baby up. Oh, girl, when I tell you, this just, it's just doing it for me. All right. It's just doing it for me. It's giving, okay? It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. So cute. It's comfortable. 
um, even with this, I'm not mad at this. Like if I really wanted to glue this down, it still would be pretty much perfect. Like perfect. I would have to do a little bit of cutting, but perfect. But I'm not do like I wear glasses. I'm not doing all of that. So <sighs> easy girl, easy life. This is it. So pretty, so beautiful. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down in the description box. I ain't mad at you, Amazon, okay? I ain't mad. All right, so I actually have a few things to do today, and I feel beautiful already. So I'm about to go ahead and finish getting ready, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.